boys and girls, today we're going to be creating colorful castles. Start by drawing a long line along the bottom of your paper. We call this a horizontal. Then draw a long vertical line up on both sides. Draw a short line in and then all the way down. This will be a tower. Do the same thing on the opposite side. This is the other tower for your castle. Make a horizontal line across connecting the towers. Then draw a castle top line. Sometimes we call it pumpkin teeth line. This is called the battlement of the castle. This is where people would hide behind and shoot their arrows out. Now add a triangle on top of each of your towers. Draw a big arch for the door. Now let's add some windows. I think I'll add a couple more towers in the background. Let's add a couple flags. Now let's use some colored oil pastels to create some patterns. I'm going to start by adding some bricks to my towers. Let's add a couple wavy lines here. Let's add some dots. it's time to paint. We are going to start with yellow. Use yellow to fill in all your windows. This will make it look like there's lights shining inside. Rinse your brush and pick a new color. I think I'll go with purple next. I'll use purple for the roofs of my towers. But you can pick whatever color you would like. Time to rinse my brush again. I love watching how the oil in my oil pastel pushes the paint away. It's like a magic trick. Be sure to use plenty of water today and make sure you glide your paintbrush across your paper.
never scrub your paintbrush on your paper, that could make a hole in your paper and it's really hard on the paintbrush. It could ruin the hairs. Try to keep your paintbrush up on its toes when you're painting in your small shapes. When you're finished painting, carefully carry your castle over to the drying rack. Today we'll be carefully cutting out our castle and gluing it down on a green sheet of background paper. I'm cutting just outside of the black line, the outline of my castle. I'm leaving just a little bit of white space. Notice how I'm turning my paper as I cut. Carefully cut around your flags. it's time to add the glue. Set the cap down on the flat side so it doesn't roll away. I'm quickly going around the outside edge. Carefully line this up along the bottom edge of your paper. Not up here, right along the edge, right about there. Good. Then flip this over and give it a massage. Oh, and don't forget to put your cap back on your glue stick. Listen for the click. Now let's get back to massaging. After a couple minutes, flip it back over. Now the glue should be sticking. Next, you'll come over and see me at the frame shop. I will attach a purple frame to your project. When you get back to your seat, you're going to be using some metallic markers to create a pattern around the frame. I'm starting with some dots. 
In between each dot, I'm going to create a star or a snowflake. Do a flower or any type of shape, like a triangle or a heart. Now I'm going to turn my paper and continue my pattern along the side of my paper. Turn your paper and continue along the top. Turn your paper again one more time and finish up. Make sure you stop when you get to your name. You don't want to cover up your name with your patterns. There, I think I'm all done. I hope you have fun creating your colorful castle. Yay!